Given this equation, 3x squared over 9x equals 27, then our goal is to find out the values of x that satisfies this equation. Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. So, given this equation, we have 3x squared over 9 raised to the power of x equals 27. Then, the goal is to find out the value of x. Alright, so, what we're going to do is... To notice this 9 and 27, because 9 and 27, we can rewrite this as a power of 3, because 9 is 3 raised to the power of 2, and 27 is 3 raised to the power of 3. Now, 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, we can simplify this out as 3 raised to the power of 2 times x, or we can multiply their exponent 2 and x. Now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to use some loss of exponent. If we have the same base, b raised to the power of a over b raised to the power of c, we can rewrite this as b raised to the power of a minus c. So the left-hand side of our equation, we can rewrite this as 3 raised to the power of x squared minus 2x. Now from here, we have the same base and we have equal expression. Therefore, we can say that their exponent must be equal. So have x squared minus 2x equals 3. Now equate this to 0. We have here a quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now let's focus on this result. And let's factor out this to find the value of x. And now I will show you three different methods to factor this quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Here's the first method. I don't know this name, but this is very common for the high school students. Here's the second method. This is the normal factoring techniques you see on the textbook. And here's what I like, the method number three. So what you're going to do is to think of a number, two numbers, that when you multiply, you get the constant term, which is negative three. So from here, we have negative three times one. And when you add these two numbers, you get the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative three plus one, you have negative two. And once you have that, two numbers, then you already factor the quadratic equation or quadratic expression. So you have your x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 1. So technically speaking, the factored form of x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0 is x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 1 equals 0. Now let's solve for the values of x. Now since it is equal to 0, so at least one of them must be equal to 0 or the 0 property. So we can say that x minus 3 equals to 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. Now, from the first case, x minus 3 equals 0, we say that x equals 3. On the second case, we have x equals negative 1. Therefore, we found two different values of x that satisfies this equation. But of course, let's do some checking. So let's have x equals negative 1. When you replace all x with negative 1, you end up with 27 equals 27. So negative 1 is technically a solution to this equation. And also, when you plug in x equals 3, and you end up with 27 equals 27. So x equals negative 1 is a solution, and x equals 3 is also part of the solution. Therefore, Given this equation, 3 raised to the power of x squared over 9 raised to the power of x equals 27, then we found two different values of x that satisfies this equation. One is x equals negative 1, and the other one is x equals 3. And as always, we are done.